In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Pixel Studio FX. As soon as you log in, the first thing you'll notice is the simple, elegant, unique interface in which you'll be able to work. This is available in both black and white for those that are looking for something that's a little easier to look at. You'll see right away on the left hand side the different niches. You've got 23 niches in total. Depending on the niche that you select, it's going to give you different options. These are done for you covers that Pixel Studio FX comes with. For example, when you start with an e-cover, you can go ahead and do anything you want. So let's go ahead and pick an e-cover and we'll be immediately taken to the styles. These are 12 unique styles that you can use from 3D boxes, 3D boxes with a CD, just the CD-ROM, to the magazine cover, to iPads, to more of a physical or hardcover book, and so much more. In fact, we even have a Kindle option. So we'll go ahead and pick the traditional 3D cover for now. Once you click on it, you'll be taken straight into our editing tool. First thing you'll notice, on the left hand side you can zoom in and out, allowing you to look at the template. We've got grids so that you can look at lining up your various elements. On the right hand side you've got tons of different options. The first thing you'll notice is that on the far right hand side you'll see all sorts of different options from fonts, training, clip art, and so much more. So let's go ahead and pick some clip art real quick. As soon as I click on that option, you'll notice that we've got all of these preloaded in here for your use. These are all royalty free, so they won't cost anything to use on your items. On top of that, we've got colored items and shapes as well. So in this case, let's just pick one of these and you'll notice right away that I can go ahead and just add it in here and start resizing and moving it around. The template we're using is just a blank one, so we'll go ahead and use this image that looks like a bank vault. So I'll click here and I'll change this to Jimmy's demo and hit apply. As you can see, it's too big. So we can go ahead and change the font either by going here and adjusting it, or we can go ahead and pull it here automatically as well. So I went ahead and adjusted it just a hair so it fits. You can add a subtitle here. I'll just put bank vault for simplicity and we'll go ahead and line it up under Jimmy's demo so it looks nice. You've got your title on the left hand side. This was done just by switching the vertical direction of it. With positioning, you can go out and change it all around wherever you want, or you can just put in an exact number like the 90% that was originally here. So let's go ahead and put it at 90, where it was before. Once you're done, you can start making other changes. So the cool thing is, we've made this like Photoshop. It's very, very good in layers, and it does all the things you want. Everything from applying an action for brightness, contrast, saturation, vibrancy, sharpen, hue, sepia, gamma noise, or blur. Or you can even go ahead and apply a preset filter so you can start changing the color and the look of it at any time. In fact, we even have a colorizer to help you randomize this. So if you feel that an image is too generic and you want to change it, you can click on background here and it's going to go ahead and start changing the colors and give you different color options while still maintaining a background. By changing that, you'll see that I immediately changed it to a different look. Next, we've got transparency. This is pretty fun. I'm sure you've seen this before where it looks like it's almost faded into the background and you want to write something over it. That's called opacity, and we've got that option. Of course, we've also got shadows and reflections, so that you can add your very own shadow right to the bottom of the image. You can go ahead and blur it, you can add more of a shadow if you want to the right hand side, or if you want it on the vertical side, you can put it on the top or the bottom. You can go ahead and change this however you want, as I did here, and go ahead and apply. Once you're done and you've got it applied, you can go ahead and do a number of things. Of course, you can add more text. If you click on the text button here, you can add more text and simply click add text. Now you can change the size and the color. We can go ahead and move it here. I'll make it red so it's easier to see. You can pick one of the automatically inputted fonts and you'll see a demo right away. You can even add a shadow to the text if you want. I'll go ahead and apply a shadow, and I'll put it on the horizontal side. 
So there's the shadow. And now your text pops like you want it, right? So we've made it really simple. You can change things like your background images. You can look at the system background that comes up and you can always upload your own. That's an important part of Pixel Studio FX. You can absolutely make it your own. We've got the undo button here. We've got support on the right hand side. We've got all of the different options. Once you're ready, you hit this little image here on the top left hand corner and it allows you to preview your image. Once the preview comes up, you've got a few available options. First things first, you'll notice on the right hand side, you can view it in full screen. You can change the background color. You can add a background image or you can even watermark it. You can also add a reflection or a shadow to your image as well. So you'll see there's a light reflection of your image here now. Your download options are pretty simple. You've got four different options for PNG, JPEG, PDF, or TIFF that you can download. You can download it with or without a background image, depending on your needs. And that's how easy it is. So once I hit download, it's going to pop up. It's going to allow me to download. It's going to give me three different styles and sizes that I can use right away. All right, I hope this gives you a full explanation of how Pixel Studio FX works and how simple and powerful it is with all of the included templates. It's over 250 total templates that you're going to get here today and that you can start using right away. You've got the option to change them and you can use them however you want and grow with them as well. This is one of the highest used tools that I know of from not only just affiliate marketers, but also ebook cover Kindle owners and so forth. So join Pixel Studio FX in confidence and know that you're getting a great tool that you can use. We'll talk to you soon.